YouTube, it's me, Jen, your Pudgy Picker. Got another Monday thrift haul for you. Yes, I found lots of goodies today. Found good stuff at the first place and a lot of good stuff at the second place. And look who's on the steps. What are you guys doing? Tater and Pixel. Pix. Pixel. She likes to ignore me. What, Tate? <laughs> okay. Okay, everybody got their fix of the bubbies. We call them bubbies in our house. So let me show you what I got. I got a couple really awesome things. And I don't know. I was just like making a mad dash and grabbing stuff. Um, I do have two things that happened. Um, the first place I went in, I was in there maybe five, six minutes. And the electricity went off. Now this place opens at 7, so it was like 7.05. And it was dark still had dark outside so everybody went whoa and then everybody just kind of i guess stood around and waited for like 15 seconds and then the electricity came back up i had a few decent things in my cart and i was like please please don't tell us we have to leave <laughs> the second place there was a lady probably in their early 50s that uh i think she either passed out or fell or something in the checkout lines they only had three lines open, one being the jewelry counter. So there was a ton of people, and I think people were just standing and standing and standing, and I think she just passed out. She was fine. Um, I was just finishing paying and went by, and she there were people were helping her up, and she was embarrassed. You know how it is. You could fall, and your arm could snap off, and you're, like, looking around saying, Oh, no, who saw me? So, yeah. So let's jump right in. Got this awesome, I guess it's a birdhouse. I don't know exactly what it is. It's pretty much solid. It was $9.99, so it was five. Got this uh, also wooden, I don't know what this is either. It doesn't look like a church, but uh, that was pretty cool. The original price on it says uh, 25, six bucks. So I got it for three. Uh, got this wire and ugh, um, wood lighthouse. It was three, three dollars. That's heavy. <laughs> um, got this. It looks like a little bird cage, but it is a jewelry tree, and it was only two fifty. Got another clock. It was three ninety nine, so it was two. Uh, the outside is metal, so it's kind of a really nice, nice uh, clock. Um. Got another big mouth Billy Bass. Um, this one was three fifty. This is a pretty nice item. A lot of people would say these are worth millions of dollars, but they're not. It is a Princess Die Beanie Baby, and it's in the box. So yeah, pretty good with that. Um, Two fifty. Not sure how these do on eBay. People have them priced. A lot of people have them priced outrageous. Um, I did uh, see one go through at uh, our store at my booth, and it went through for forty. So I at least know I can get forty for it, probably at my booth. Um, it's funny because there's some people have them up pretty low, and then other people have like. A thousand dollars it's it's craziness but this one still has the tag it's very clean in the container so we will see how that does this is a nice little summer item for $2.99 or $1.50 it is a little candle Adirondack chair it is metal um, found two uh, giraffes these are really nice uh, carved ones and they are originally from World Market. So they were $16.99 for each of these. And then I also found these two zebras. And they are also $16.99 from World Market. $4. $4. What did I say these were? Were these $4 as well? Yeah. So not too bad. A little higher than I probably like. But I will do my research. If I don't put them online, they will go to my booth. Uh, African art, uh, such as this piece, uh, do really well. This was only $2, hand-carved. Um, these do really well. Uh, we have a nice variety uh, of people 
uh, different cultures at in you know around where my booth is. So African art always does really well. I had some really pretty square uh, plates that were African art. They did really well. So it's something that I do keep an eye out for uh, because I have good luck with those. This, I have no idea what this worth, but it was so awesome looking. I don't know much about glass, <laughs> but I know that this is hand-blown glass and it looks very intricate. There is no markings on this, so I need a little expertise, guys, if you know what this is or what style this is. Uh, it was $3.50 and it was in the housewares by the candles. Um, I don't know, I guess it could be a candy dish or something. But for that price, I just couldn't leave it behind. It was so awesome looking, so beautiful. Um, so I picked that up. I did get these two containers, this one for a dollar and this one for two dollars for my Lucky Bamboo. I just sold out my last one, so I gotta go get another batch. Um, these are neat because they're kind of connected. I've actually bought one very similar to this, but these were green and not blue, and put one in each, so that was a very cool way of styling that. Got some Brita pitcher filters. There are four in there. They are new, $2. Uh, let's see. These are art prints. They were $2 a piece or $3.99 originally. They are from oh, Home Goods. And they're kind of squishy, so I don't know if they're considered like, I don't know, use it for a, uh, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, my brain. For like a, not a pin cushion. You know what I mean. <sighs> to hang up pictures and stuff, oh, whatever. Uh, the Gathering Place, this one was also $3.99, $2. Um, did get two tops. This one is A Woman Within, it is a 4X long sleeve shirt, it's like brand new. This one is a Catherine's, it was four and a quarter. It is, I believe, a 3X, and it just has this real pretty print on it. Uh, three of these. I did look these up in the store because I wanted to make sure they were worth something. I know the heavier yarn is popular, especially this time of year. This is Bernat. They had two in this aqua uh, color and then one in this tan. And they were $3.99 or $2 each. They're going from $10 to $15 a piece. So I will definitely put these on eBay. Uh, this is something every man needs in his life. Yes, it is a bacon wallet. <laughs> I saw that and I go, that can't be. Yes, it definitely is a bacon wallet. Now, what man doesn't need that in their life? $2.99, $1.50, so yeah. I'll do my research, see if I can put that online. These are really cool. It says, Made in Belize. Napkin rings, they look like fish, and they're four different shades of brown. Dollar, can't hardly beat that. Um, I thought these were pretty cool. These are, uh, look like card catalog um, brass plates where you hang it up and then you have this little slot to open and close it. Plus, if you see in the back, there's a way to you know, slide in a little card. I thought somebody would love these. There are 13 of them, and it was only a dollar. So those will be going online for sure. Um, what else? Oh, I got this cute little green, looks like a toolbox. I'll put something in there for spring or summer. It was a dollar fifty. Oh, what else, what else? Oh, also got this. It is a metal uh, wall hanging, and it has a place for uh, five of those uh, votive or tea light holders. Remember, I bought a whole bunch of the frosted ones real cheap. That's why I get them, because when I get something like that, it doesn't have any, so I'm ready. So, I think that's it. So, tell me what you like about my haul today. What particular item caught your fancy? Um, what item would you have picked up? Um, not too bad. I spent about $75.
So I will be getting this stuff looked up and put online or taken out to my booth. That is all I have. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram under The Pudgy Picker. Please subscribe and hit that button, uh, the like button. Also, if you hit the bell, you'll get notifications of when I put out new content. And the dogs decide to bark. <laughs> so I will see you next time, guys. And until then, happy picking. Bye.